Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are going to see how to handle C++ module parameters in QSpice. This is very interesting. If we have a C++ module as shown here, we can handle the parameters of these modules in two ways. On one hand, we have the inherent parameters of the C++ modules as shown here. For example, the output capacitance of the module, the maximum time between evaluations and so on. So these are parameters that belong to the C++ module. And on the other hand, we can pass external parameters as shown here into our C++ module. For example, this parameter gain equal to 3 can be sent into the C++ module so we can use this parameter as a value inside our C++ source. So let's see how to do this. So we're going to use this as an example. Here we have our C++ module. We are injecting through this input a sinusoidal voltage and then we are going to generate here an output voltage. We're going to create now a C++ interface. We create a new template. We say yes here. OK. And here we have our template. So now we can say, for example, here in the part corresponding to the C++ code, we can say that out 0 equal, for example, to 5 times in 0. And then we can compile and run. And we can see that this is the output voltage. And here we have the input voltage. The input voltage is 1 volt. But the output voltage, instead of having 5 volts peak, it has only 2.5 volts peak. And this is because the inherent, the default output resistance of this module is 1000 ohms, is 1 kilo ohm. So if we want to modify this, then we can do like this. We go to the module, right click, and then we say add new attribute. Place the attribute, for example, here, and we select our out equal to, for example, 10 ohms. So now, if we run the simulation, then we can see that now the output voltage is equal to 5 volts because the output impedance is negligible. So this is the way to handle the internal parameters of the C++ module. If we go to the properties here, so symbol properties, then we can see that we have added this new attribute with the value of the output resistance. Now let's see how to include user-defined parameters, but there is an issue here. If we go to the help file, we can read this, the following instance parameters, if any, must be given after the above user-defined parameters, if any. So if we want to add a user-defined parameters, then first we have to delete this one. And then we go and add new attribute and say, for example, that we want to uh, pass a parameter with the gain of our module. So first we have to say the type of the variable that we are going to use, for example, double, and then the name, gain one, and then equal to 5, for example. So here we can see that we have our second attribute with the gain 1 equal to 5. Now we can add the internal parameters of the module. So we add here our out equal to 10 again. So we have here the value of the output resistance. And now we create again the C++ template here. So we say yes. OK. And we can see that we have this line with the definition of an input parameter for our module. So now we can go to our code and say out 0 equal to gain 1 times in zero. 
now we run the simulation and we can see that now we have 5 volts peak at the output but now we have the parameter here so we can change this for example to 10 run again and see that we have 10 volts peak at the output also we can pass here the value of an external parameter param gain equal to 5 and then we can use here gain so this is very convenient because we can use this parameter here for other things and then also to pass the parameter to the C++ module. So we run the simulation and then we can see that now we have a gain of 5. Well, this is all today in this short video. Please let me know if you have any comment or question. Thank you for watching and goodbye now.